Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing my latest obsession. It's my buffalo chicken meal prep bowls. These bowls are layered with tender buffalo chicken bites, colorful green beans and tomatoes, and a mix of brown and cauliflower rice. They are super easy to make, perfect for busy weekdays, and absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Thank you to my friends at Primal Kitchen for sponsoring this video. I could not make this recipe without their avocado oil, their buffalo sauce, and their ranch dressing, which are also both made with avocado oil as well. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know that my number one tip for anybody wanting to level up their eating is to focus on high quality ingredients. So I very much appreciate that the Primal Kitchen products use no artificial sweeteners or added sugars, and they incorporate good fats from plant-based oils. Much like myself, they believe in using purposeful, high quality ingredients so that you and I can enjoy our favorite sauces, condiments, dressings, and pantry staples with confidence. Now you could most definitely make this meal as a standalone family dinner, but what I love to do is to add it to my weekend meal prep so I have it to enjoy throughout the week. Now the first thing that I do is make my rice and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite little kitchen hacks to add some extra veggies and some extra fiber to the rice and that is by adding cauliflower rice to my brown rice. Now I have found that the easiest way to cook brown rice is to cook it like pasta. So here's what I do. I have a four quart pot of water on my stove. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil and I'm gonna rinse one cup of brown rice under some cold water. You just wanna get any excess starch off of the rice. Now you could use a short grain, a long grain, a medium grain, or any other type of rice that you have on hand or that you prefer, they will all work. So I'm gonna add the rinsed rice to the boiling water, give that a stir, and then once it comes back up to a boil, I just reduce the heat just a little bit to maintain a steady boil, just like I have here. Then I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes, and we're gonna circle back around, and I'm gonna show you how and when I add the cauliflower rice. Okay, so while that's happening, I'm gonna prep the buffalo chicken bites. They are so good. And should you be one of my plant-based friends, you could absolutely sub in some tofu, some tempeh, or even cauliflower, okay? So make it work for you. This is a very flexible recipe. So I have one pound of organic chicken tenders, and I'm just gonna cut these in to bite-sized chunks, just like this. You could also do this with regular chicken breast. So as always, use what you have, use what you love, use what's on sale. Then I'm gonna transfer the cut chicken into a bowl, and I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of the Primal Kitchen avocado oil, and then I'll season this with one and a half teaspoons smoked paprika, one and a half teaspoons garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then some sea salt and black pepper. I'm gonna to gently toss that all together. I just wanna make sure that all of those little chicken bites are lightly coated with the oil and the spices. Okay, so here on the stove, I have a 12 inch nonstick skillet heating over a medium heat. I'm gonna add a little avocado oil, just brush that through the pan and let that heat through. Now remember, avocado oil is a good fat. It's a mono unsaturated plant-based oil and Primal Kitchen uses avocado oil for all of their products, which I absolutely love. Okay, the oil looks good. The pan is hot, the oil is shimmering, so in goes the chicken. You just wanna make sure that you lay your chicken in a single file, right? So they can be very close to one another, you just don't want them piled on top of one another. From here, I'm gonna let them cook for three to four minutes, and then once they're golden brown, just like this, you're gonna flip them over and let them go for another three to four minutes, or until they're golden brown on both sides, and cooked through and you are going to see that cooking your chicken like this is so easy and it comes out so juicy and so tender i honestly think this may just be my new favorite way to make chicken okay so this looks great i'm going to shut off my heat and for the final step which is going to add a gigantic boost of flavor i'm going to pour in about a half a cup of the primal kitchen buffalo sauce and i am telling you guys this is hands down my favorite buffalo sauce it has the best flavor mm, this looks so good i wish you could smell this divine. So I'm going to let this sit while I finish up the rice and then we're going to make our green beans and assemble our bowls. Now my rice is just about done. It has about five more minutes on the stove. So what I like to do here is I add in one and a half cups of defrosted 
cauliflower rice right into the pot and I'm just gonna let this finish cooking for like another five minutes. It is the best way to add more volume to the rice while sneaking in extra veggies and extra fiber and I'm telling you, nobody even knows that the cauliflower is in there. So we'll drain our rice and then I'm gonna return it back to the pot and I like to just stir in a big handful of chopped scallions. It adds a little mild oniony flavor. Give that a little bit of a stir pop on the lid, let this sit on the stove while you prep the rest of the bowls and you're gonna see that the rice is gonna get really nice and light and fluffy. Now for our green beans, which is the final step, I've got a couple of inches of water coming to a boil at the bottom of my pot here and I'm just gonna place my steamer basket right on top and in those one pound of trimmed green beans that I've cut into one inch pieces. I'm gonna pop on a lid and let that cook for about five to seven minutes or until the green beans are vibrant and tender, but still crisp. You still want them to be a little bit al dente. Then I'm gonna transfer the beans into a medium sized bowl. I'll add in a couple of cloves of crushed garlic, one extra drizzle of that avocado oil, a handful of chopped baby tomatoes, and then I'll season this with some salt and pepper, stir it all together. Mm and we're ready to build our bowls. I designed this recipe to make four servings. So you can pretty much eyeball it and just evenly divide the ingredients amongst four containers. So I like to start with the rice on one side of the container. Then I place the buffalo chicken bites right in the center. And then I finish it off with the green beans and tomatoes. And then for one last layer of flavor and to really bring everything to the next level, I like to drizzle the Primal Kitchen Ranch dressing and marinade right over the top. Oh my God, so good. Now from here, you can just pop on the lids, leave them in your fridge where they will happily last you for up to five days. And then during the week when you're busy and you don't have a lot of time, you have this beautiful, delicious, well-balanced meal in the fridge waiting for you. Thanks again to Primal Kitchen for sponsoring this video. You can find all of their products at your favorite retailers, or you can visit primalkitchen.com and save 20% off of your order by using code PRIMALKITCHEN20. As always, thank you for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.